You know, sometimes when we talk about awkward astronomy or astronomy-themed foods, we get accused of choosing lighter topics. Yeah, so we decided to take on these naysayers and devote an entire episode to the lightest of topics. Light. Mm -hmm. Specifically, the speed of it. The speed of light, known as C, is constant in a vacuum, like most of empty space. It's also known as the universal speed limit, since nothing can ever accelerate any faster. The actual number is approximately 300 million meters per second, 3 times 10 to the 8th. So, that's pretty fast. Mm -hmm. How did people figure it out? It's not like you can just take a radar gun and point it at a light bulb. Fun as that would be. No, it's a little trickier than that. Uh, one of the first scientists who tried to measure this was Galileo. Galileo Galilei. Yes, that one. To figure out light speed, in the early 1600s, he and a friend went up two hilltops a certain distance apart. Galileo flashed his lantern on one peak, and his friend on the other peak was supposed to flash a lantern back in response. Galileo figured that he could time how long it took him to see his friend's light. Then, all he had to do was divide the total distance by that time to get the speed of light. Brilliant! Well, it would have been, but light is just too fast. And I mean, plus, how good could his timekeeping tools have been anyway? Fast forward to the 1670s when Danish astronomer Ole Romer figured out a way to measure C by accident. While observing Jupiter and its moons, he noticed the timing of eclipses seemed off. He eventually realized that when Earth and Jupiter are closer together in their orbits around the Sun, the light from the Jovian system took less time to get here than expected. And when Earth and Jupiter were farther apart, the light took more time. Knowing how much these distances changed, he calculated a value for the speed of light. It turned out to be a little slow, but it showed that light does have a speed. Yeah, up till then, almost everybody just assumed light was instantaneous. I mean, look at it, wouldn't you? Nowadays, scientists have ways to measure it much more precisely. And Bill and I are going to show you a couple of ways to measure it more funly. So for our first demo, we're going to measure the speed of light using a bar of chocolate. So for this, the ingredients you need are... Said bar of chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm. Ruler. A metric would be a handy, handy kind of ruler. Huh? And you microwave. In particular, if it has one of these spinny turntables, you want to take that out children should ask for permission from their parents first. Because we don't want anything in here spinning. This relies on the chocolate bar being stationary. The microwave sets up a standing wave. It will indent the chocolate bar at two spots and you measure that and those are where this wave passes through. So you can multiply that measurement by two to get a full wave. We take that measurement, we know the frequency of the microwave, that's just on the back here. You can look at your microwave specifications. And in this case, I believe it was 2450 megahertz. Correct. We know the frequency, and there's a simple relationship that ties together frequency, wavelength, and the speed of light. And velocity. Yeah. So, without further ado. Thank you. Okay. We did 30 seconds. Mm hmm. Take out the chocolate bar. A little melty. But that's good. So now we're going to measure the distance between those two spots. And it looks like it's about 8 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say it's about 8 also. So we multiply that by 2 to get the full wavelength. That's 16 centimeters or 0.16 meter. That's right. And we remember our microwave's frequency was 2450 megahertz or 2450 million hertz. So we multiply the frequency by the wavelength to get the speed of light. We calculate 392 million meters per second. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it's not exactly our 300 million meters per second, which is the speed of light. But when you consider we use chocolate to measure this, it's pretty darn close. Yeah. Delicious, too. Now remember, so far we've just been talking about light in a vacuum. So, you know, what it is in space. But how does it change if it goes through different materials? Light when it goes through different heavier, denser materials, such as gelatin, it bends. That's how eyeglasses work. And telescopes. So we have a chunk of gelatin right now 
Bill is going to point this laser light along a perfectly straight line, and we're going to see how the light slightly changes. So Bill is shining a laser on a straight line through the gelatin. The light goes more toward this side than toward this side, so it's clearly off of that center line. So let's measure what that angle is. So it looks like maybe about seven degrees or so. So this just goes to show that light really does change when it goes from one material to another and that you can even measure that difference. This is just a small bit about why light and its speed is so interesting. Nowadays, it's amazing what scientists can do. Yeah, just last year, scientists at MIT developed a kind of camera that can pretty much capture light's motion. They set up about 500 sensors and timed them to go off within trillionths of a second while a pulse of light goes through a room. The results, as you can see, are pretty crazy. But then, most things are when you're talking about light. Well, I don't think our demos are too crazy, but you should let us know in the comments section or via email what you actually thought of them. Also, if you'd rather switch things up a bit, you can replace the chocolate bar with a stick of butter, a bowl of mini marshmallows, or even some egg white, although I'd much rather have chocolate. Or at least mix them all up together. Oh, yeah. And be sure to tell us if we've overlooked your favorite way to measure C. I mean, I do it as often as I can, just because it's one of the few things I'm better at than Galileo. Galileo, Galilei. The very same. Till next time. Bye. Also, what kind of a question is that? It feels great. Most scientists I know would be like, it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs>